Welcome to uh, Excel. Uh, this is the first of a few tutorials that's going to teach you how to use this program uh, at a basic level. Um, I understand that some people find this program a little bit dull, um, but you actually can do a lot with Excel. It's probably the most versatile of the programs that you're going to use in terms of all the different things that it can do. All right, to start with, um, once again, just do everything I do. Okay, um, this is called a cell. Okay, any of these little boxes, and it's referenced by its number up here so if i clicked here that is f11 okay and you can see it up here f11 just say i wanted to get to a cell somewhere down here as well i could type it manually i could type in g12 and it would take me there okay and you can see that when i've clicked on it it's highlighted for me so the 12 and the g okay so that's a cell um this is a column if i highlight this whole um of column a here and it's a column because it goes up and down um, and the way to remember that, the difference between columns and rows, columns go up and down, like a Greek column that holds up the roof. Um, and this is a row, it goes horizontally. Okay, so I got row eight, column B. Okay, that kind of thing, I'm telling you this stuff so that later on when I refer to these things, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, to start with, I'm just gonna click on uh, B2 and I'm gonna write my super boss budget. Okay, I'm gonna help you make up a bit of a budget um, so that you can plan, you know, how much money you're going to get in the year and uh, what you can buy and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's think about it. What, what's our income? How are we getting money? Um, let me think. Pocket money. If you were lucky enough to get that. I never got that as a kid. So, you know, be grateful if you do. Pocket money. Birthday. Everyone gets some cash all on their birthday. We have Christmas. Although it's Jesus' birthday, sometimes you get money too. Um, what else? Maybe you mow the grass. Once again, had to mow that. Didn't get any money for it. So if you get money for it, woohoo. Okay, um, and that's all I can think of for now. Okay, those four. Um, you'll notice some of these things poke through this cell. Okay, so this, this cell here is a little bit too small. And so my super boss budget and pocket money, they're all a bit too big and same with mow grass. So to change the width of a cell, you click, if you move your mouse in between, so you'll notice my icon changes to this little straight line with arrows either side. I'm gonna drag that and that'll adjust the width of that cell for me. Alternatively, if I just move my mouse there and then double click, it will automatically adjust to the biggest size necessary. Now, let's put in some values. So pocket money, we're gonna average pocket money over the year. So just say you get five bucks every week okay there's 52 weeks in a year so what we're going to do we're going to create a formula okay this is a really simple one and to start a formula we use the equals button equals and we're going to write five bucks so five times 52 because it's 52 weeks in a year so we're going to use the times function which is the star on your keyboard a star times 52 okay and that's 260 dollars every year that's pretty cool pretty sweet i reckon 260 a year okay now that's just a number we want it to be dollars so we're going to go up here and see this little general word this is actually the number format drop down list so if we click on that we're going to go to currency okay and that puts in decimal points for us and puts a dollar sign so we know that's money okay um birthday we get one of those a year and maybe you've got really generous family members so maybe combined up you're gonna get 300 bucks in birthday cash whoa that's a lot of money for birthdays change out the currency again christmas not so generous at christmas time you only get 50 bucks Okay, and except I've chosen accounting here, which puts the dollar sign a little bit further across. Let's change that to currency, because I like them, uh, they're close to it. And then mow grass. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna do that once a month. Okay, so maybe dad gives you uh, 10 bucks every time you mow the grass, because you've got a really big property. Every month, there's 12 months in a year. So once again, we're gonna create a really simple formula. We're gonna go equals, and we're gonna go 12, because there's 12 months in a year, times using our star, and $10, so 10. 
Okay, $120. And once again, we'll change that into currency. Okay, so we've learned some simple formulas. You can tell where your formula is by clicking on that cell. And up here in the formula bar, you'll be able to change it. Just say you go, actually, there's only 50 weeks in the year because I didn't get paid for two of those weeks. So you could change that. Okay, but we're just going to leave it 52. Okay. Um, now we're gonna we're looking at this and we go, wow, this looks ugly. As we're gonna make it look better. Okay, so um, we're gonna highlight this cell by clicking and then holding, and then we're gonna highlight the cell next to it, and we're gonna go up here to merge and center. Okay, what this does, it does exactly what it says. It merges the two cells together and puts my text in the middle. Okay, um, we're gonna highlight these cells here as well, and we're gonna go all borders okay so this border option here we're going to choose all borders so it puts black lines around it and we're going to color coordinate so this heading here we're going to color that cell behind it so i'm just going to go with this light blue and i'm going to bold my text and i'm going to up the size a bit now you'll notice if i make my text bigger it'll automatically adjust the size of my cell as well okay so there's my super boss budget um, that's my first little section here um, but now I want to put a totals column in. Okay, so I'm going to write, put a little, leave a gap and write total. And then I'm going to align it to the right. Okay, and then next to it, I'm going to create a spot for a formula, which we'll do next lesson. But I'm just going to leave a blank box here. Okay, and I might put a question mark in just for the fun of it while we're waiting. Okay, now the totals, we're going to highlight this and we're going to color it. We'll make it light blue as well. Okay. And we'll make it a bit bigger. And we'll bold it. Okay, and now we're going to make a wish list on this side. Okay, so I'm going to write here, I don't know, Halo 8. If there is a Halo 8, I don't think there is. I think we're up to like Halo 4. But anyway, Halo 8, that's one wish list. And we're going to say this is worth $100 because we're buying it pre ordered, like someone who can't wait. $100. Actually, you know what? We might give this a title first. So, highlighting this, we're going to, we can move it a few ways. We could move our mouse until we get this arrow all directions icon. And we could drag it and we could move it to where we wanted to. Or we could press Control X, Control V, and that'll move it as well. So highlighting it, dragging it down, and we're going to write here my wish list. And like we did before, we're going to highlight that, merge in center, make it blue, make it bigger, up the size again. Uh, we can't remember how big that was, so we click back here, size 14, size 14, no problem. Okay, um, what else? Um, maybe we want an awesome new bike. So we get a bike uh, that's worth 300 bucks, maybe 320. Okay, we're gonna change that format as well. Okay, and that's all we got on our wish list so far. So we're gonna have our total for our wish list down here as well. And we'll put a question mark in because we don't know that yet. And we're gonna make that blue. And we're going to put a box around it and we'll make it a bit bigger too and bold it just because I like bolding titles and that kind of thing. Okay. Put a box around that. Why not? Okay, now just say I want to shrink down the size of another cell or I want to adjust the height. So just say this totals, this super boss budget thing is too small. I'm going to just up the size by just the way I would adjust the um, column width. I can do it on my rows as well. So I can make them bigger. And now that I've got this big title area up here, I'm gonna click on this cell and I'm gonna actually vertically center it as well. Okay, so now it's floating in the middle and I'm gonna do that with this one as well. Okay, so now I've got quite a big heading in this area. All right, save your work as L1 Excel or you know lesson one or something like that. Um, and then you are done.